Hey there you great people, I hope you have been all so well. So I'm back in my kitchen here and I'm going to be making chili con carne. Yes, I know I've done it on my channel before, but I'm going to be making it a little bit different today. Um, this time a few extra ingredients and also instead of using minced beef, I'm going to be using diced beef steak. I'll show you what I have behind me and what you'll need to cook this amazing and flavourful dish. Let me show you behind. So in my pan here, I've quite finely chopped one large onion and one green pepper. A little grind of salt and pepper in there. Then I have 300 grams here of diced beef steak, which in a minute I'm going to dice even smaller so it's tiny little bits. I have three small cloves of garlic I've chopped quite fine. Five finger chilies, but you could probably use two or three jalapenos instead. Then my mixture here, which is half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of ginger powder. Then about one teaspoon of garlic flakes, or you could use chili powder. Um, one and a half teaspoons of really good quality ground coffee as well in there, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Then in here, I've used half a tin half a 400 gram tin i'll just show you the tin of chopped tomatoes or something like this i've used half of these so probably 200 grams then i've quite finely chopped about seven or eight cherry tomatoes also a tiny little bit of tomato ketchup or tomato sauce in there and about a tablespoon of worcestershire sauce as well of course we have our kidney beans here to go in the chili con carne what we'll do now, we'll turn the heat on this pan and we'll get this up to about medium heat, so about three out of six on this hob. Um, and we'll do these onions for about five or six minutes until, or onions and peppers, until they're nice and softened and a little bit golden. One thing I did forget to say was I also put half a teaspoon of cumin in here in the spice mixture. And in here with all the tomatoes and the rest, also, you can probably see it, put in one beef stock cube as well. So we've done these onions and peppers now on a medium for about five minutes until they soften. By the way, I did these in two tablespoons of sunflower oil. Uh, what we'll do now is add our chopped chilli. Like I said, for this, I used five uh, finger chilies. You could probably use two or three jalapenos. Right, so I've got all that in there, and I've included the seeds as well. So what we'll do, give it a stir and do this for about a minute and carry on here on a medium heat. One minute, that's all, on a medium. So that's the chilli done for one minute in this pan. We'll now add the chopped garlic. Like I said, I use three very small cloves of garlic for this. Um, you could use two medium garlic cloves or possibly one large one right most of that is in there now again give it a quick stir and do it for one more minute so that's our garlic done in there now for one minute on a medium what i've done quickly with my 300 gram of diced beef steak it was diced but they were quite large like one inch chunks of beef steak like that so i've really chopped it down so it's super super fine and quite small and remember after handling raw meat please wash your hands what we'll do now is we will get our diced beef into the actual pan or try without flicking some on the cooker never mind and give that a good stirring round and we'll carry on on a medium stirring every minute or so for around about four or five minutes so we've done our diced beef mixture in here for about four minutes on a medium until it's got a nice brown colour. What we'll do now is we'll get our spice mixture and add that to the pan. And as always, give it a very, very good stirring round. And we'll cook that spice mixture out for about one minute. So we've cooked that spice mixture in our pan here for about a minute and I can really smell the aroma coming towards me. It smells amazing. What we'll do now, get one of these 400 gram uh, cans of kidney beans 
we're just going to add half the can to our tomatoes so a little bit more about half a can into there with our half a tin of chopped tomatoes um, the fresh chopped cherry tomatoes um, Worcestershire sauce and the bit of tomato ketchup and of course the beef stock cube and now we'll add that to our pan put that on the side and give this a really really good stirring through and give it about give it about one minute or so once it's all thoroughly stirred through cook for about a minute so we've thoroughly stirred through that mixture and left it about a minute to cook on this medium heat and what we did with our measuring jug we've added 300 ml if you can see that of cold tap water and we'll add that to the pan now again as always every step of this cooking give it a very good stirring through and once you have just like that we'll turn this up to a high now so five or six on the hob uh, until we get to a light boil so we have this now up to what i'd call a slow boil we've got this on five out of six on this hob here um just before it got up to this slow boiling point i've added the remaining half um, of the tin of chopped tomatoes so now we have a full tin of chopped tomatoes in there i've just added the other half just now like i said and also i've added 200 milliliters of just cold tap water and give it a good stir once we get to this point where it's almost a slow boil what we'll do give it a stir as always and we'll turn this down from a five to a three so a medium heat leave this about five or ten minutes and then we'll give it a little stir so we've simmered this now on a medium for ten minutes i'll just give it a really good stir around we'll still keep it on a medium heat and leave it for another 10 minutes and then stir it again um, the reason I'm doing it medium um, after getting up to high is to bring out all the flavors of those spices the tomatoes in there and obviously to reducing it down to take some of the moisture out and to thicken it up um, and it will be amazing it's already smells literally wafting up to my nose incredible so I can't wait to try some because I am so hungry so we've done this for another 10 minutes now and we've stirred it again now on this medium heat we'll do it for its final 10 minutes and we should have lost a lot of that moisture and it should thicken up quite nicely and it'll be ready to serve so we've simmered it for this last little section of 10 minutes so in total we've simmered it for 30 minutes stirring every 10 minutes and as you can see it's lost a lot of that moisture on the water we put in and really brought out those spices and the flavor and thickened up and is delicious you can serve this how you want i'm gonna cheat tonight and have a pout of this microwave rice which you literally squeeze the hell out of and then rip open about an inch at the top and do for two minutes in the microwave some people have put that rice in a bowl or on a plate with the chili con carne on top and then maybe which we really fancy add some guacamole sour cream or grated cheddar i'll just have the pile rice uh, in a bowl with some of this amazing smelling chili con carne on top i've shown you how to do that anyway with this diced beef steak the chili con carne with diced beef steak onions peppers or the green peppers and tomatoes and the rest this is going to be fantastic i am really hungry i cannot wait to eat I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll enjoy my other cooking videos. I've got lots of them on my channel. So please go and check some of those out along with my 560 other videos across 15 amazing and entertaining playlists on this Paul B. Hostin 85. And if you did really enjoy this video, please now go below, like, especially subscribe, share with everyone and hit that notification bell. See you all later for the next video and thank you so much for watching.